Hey everyone, Ashish on this side from the way yourself. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to control the mini stepper motor using the ULN2003 driver board and an ESP32 all programmed with ESP IDF, the official development framework from Espresset. Whether you're building a robotic arm, an automatic curtains, or a simple motion control system, this project is a great starting point. So let's dive right in. Here's what we are working with. 28 BYJ48 mini stepper motor, a ULN2003 driver module, ESP32 development board with micro USB cable, breadboard and some jumpers according to your requirement. Let's break down how this setup works. The 28BYJ48 is a 5V unipolar stepper motor with 4 coils, driven in sequence to rotate the shaft in precise steps. It features an internal gear reduction which increases torque and reduces the step angle to about 0.0879 degrees per step. That means it takes 4096 steps to complete one full revolution of motor shaft. Unlike regular DC motors, stepper motors are all about precise positioning and that's exactly what makes them so powerful in embedded projects. What the ULN2003 driver does The ULN2003 module is a simple driver board that acts like a switch. It takes logic signal from the ESP32 and uses transistors to supply higher current to the motor coils. The board has four inputs, input 1 to input 4, connected to the ESP32 GPIOs and four output pins connected to the motor windings. You will also find a common pin which goes to your motor's power supply, usually 5 volt. So guys, this is the mini stepper motor with the motor driver or you can say the stepper motor IC or you can say the module specially. So this is a ULN2003 stepper motor driver and this is the mini stepper motor with 5 pins. So we'll see the description further. Alright guys, so you can see we have removed the packet of your ULN2003 and this is the ULN2003 with us. You can see the number is also written here ULN2003AN. So this is your stepper motor driver which is a Darlington pair and uh, the other one is your mini stepper motor which we will be driving using the ULN2003 and uh, you can see this is the connector which will directly go in here and it will be connected like this so after this we will be supplying the inputs like from here the input pins input 1 input 2 input 3 and input 4 Next you can see the remaining other pins are vacant like input 5, input 6 and input 7. Those are vacant so we will not be using them. So these 4 pins are enough to make the rotation of your mini stepper motor as per the steps. So now let's proceed ahead and let's make the circuit diagram of your mini stepper motor with ULN2003 along with the ESP32. Now let's proceed. Alright guys, so now you can see we have connected the stepper motor. This is the stepper motor and we have made the connection of it to the ULN2003 stepper motor driver like here. And the other side we have the four pins, uh, especially we have four pins right now, input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4, rest 4 are left vacant which we are not using right now and uh, these four are connected to the ESP32 at pin number 27, 26, 25 and 33 so we have connected them in the order only like uh, 27 will be connected to input 1 
then input 2 input 3 and input 4 this is the way like how we are connecting it next we have the ground and vcc so v5 is your v in specially you can say and this will provide your 5 volt and right now you can see right here we are providing the 5 volt to the uln 2003 uh, stepper motor driver but uh, you can also supply 12 volt if you have with you so right now this blue pin is connected to ground that means this is a ground pin and green is connected to this the second one uh, this is your 5 volt so this is how you have make the connections and you can see we have made the proper circuit connection of your mini stepper motor with the ESP32. Now let's proceed. Alright everyone, now let's understand the code and let's see the practical implementation after uploading the code. Now the code is opened on my screen in Visual Studio. I'll simply open steppermotor.c. Inside this I have the code written already so that I don't have to write it manually and then to start explaining you. Firstly, we have included the libraries which are required for this project. Next, we have created a function inside which I have put all the required code to make the stepper motor rotate as per the first sequence that we have discussed in the beginning. Similarly, one more thing I am including in here is I am writing the main code inside app underscore main and I am writing it using the extras create so that I can make it multitasking because this function is not gonna run in, uh, in the real time. In fact, it's gonna run in background so that you can perform other tasks simultaneously. Now let's move ahead to the main function inside which I have the code written to make the stepper motor rotate. So for that, firstly, I have initialized the four GPIO pins in such a way that it will be working as an output pins. So the pins which I have used right here is GPIO pin number 27, 26, 25 and 33. So I am using all these four GPIO pins as an output pins and I have defined them as an output using this function which is gpio underscore set underscore direction followed by the pin number and the mode uh, to define it so this is how we have defined it after that i want to make my motor rotate continuously without any stop or you can say for the infinite time that is the reason i am starting a while loop right here so inside this while loop i am going to write this entire sequence which will be rotating my motor in a clockwise direction so firstly i'll simply pass the gpio pins 27 26 25 and 33 and uh, in here pin number 27 will be set high and the remaining will be set low for 2 millisecond now after this 2 millisecond i am going to set a new sequence or you can say i am going to set a new values for all the four gpio pins that is uh, pin number 26 as 1 and the remaining as low. Similarly, after 2 milliseconds, again I am sending another sequence. This will be for GPIO pin number 25. It is set as high and the remaining will be set as low. And followed by the last one which is pin number 33. And now this time, this will be set up as high and the remaining will be set up as low. So this sequence is going to send like every 2 milliseconds. Like firstly this for 2 milliseconds after that this for 2 milliseconds after that this for 2 milliseconds so that our coiling will work properly and we will have a proper movement of our stepper motor so this is the sequence that that we will be getting right here uh, on the basis of which it is going to rotate continuously and also we are calling extras create for ultrasonic test so it will be running in the background and with this our entire code is done this is about the first sequence that we are using similarly if you want to change to some other sequence to make it uh, rotate anti-clockwise then we'll change the sequence and that we will see either so firstly let's test this one so that uh, we will see the actual functionality in life so for that firstly you need to connect your esp32 to your system so that you can flash the code so my ESP32 is connected to the system. 
along with the interfacing of mini stepper motor with ESP32. So I have everything done and I have connected it now. As usual that we have seen in the previous videos like uh, you need to run this source. Now after this you can build it and you can directly flash it. But there is one additional thing that I want to show you because without that you will get an error every time even though your motor is rotating perfectly fine. For that just type idf.py menu config and I'm showing you this so that you will not get that error right and what is that error that is related to watchdog so it will be triggered so for that uh, just go to component config go inside just go down and look for ESP system settings go inside and scroll down to this by default it will be like this enable task watchdog timer but this time i'll simply disable it if you will enable it you will keep on getting that error related to watchdog because it will get triggered every time because what exactly we are doing is we are just running a loop that is an infinite loop if that infinite loop is running so definitely no other task can be done it's like we have a block over there so watchdog will be triggered so that is the reason i don't want to see it uh, while i'm running this so that's the reason i'm just simply disabling it so just disable it go back just save it now simply idf.py you can build it so it's built successfully now just simply type so just flash it All right, so the code is running. So guys, you can see the stepper motor is rotating in clockwise direction. Here you have the ULN2003 motor driver, stepper motor driver in fact, that is connected to the ESP32 and it is connected to the system. So this is how we have successfully rotated the mini stepper motor using the ESP32. Alright everyone, now that we have seen the rotation of your mini stepper motor in the clockwise direction, now it's time to change the direction. This time we will change the direction from clockwise to anti-clockwise. So basically this time what exactly we have to do is we have to uh, reverse the uh, process or you can say we have to reverse the uh, direction like this is the first step this is the second step this is the third step fourth step this time instead of passing it like one two three four we will pass it like four three two one means fourth will become first third will become second second will become third first will become fourth so we will change the direction right so with this the direction will be changed from clockwise to anti-clockwise. So let me do it quickly so that I can show you the demo. All right, everyone. So you can see I have uh, made two separate sequences. One is for the clockwise, which I have commented right now. Similarly, the other one is the anti-clockwise. So if I will run this one, the direction will be rotated, right? So let me show you that now. Just stop it and reflash it all right now you can see the direction is rotated see everything is working perfectly the direction is rotated it's anti-clockwise now And also you can see we are not getting any error in the monitor which we may get without disabling the watchdog. So this was it for today. I hope now you have understood that how you can control your mini stepper motor using the ULN2003 motor driver board along with the ESP32. So if you have found this video helpful, do click on the like button and if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, 
do click on our subscribe button so that you never miss an update from our channel so this was it for today see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning